What it do, Top Media TV, we back again. So WAC 100 pretty much goes off. Oh, Brick Baby saying he's the only person at this point that could have set up Lil Dark. At first he was trying to say it was Big U, but what he's trying to really say about Brick Baby is how everybody in LA was saying when it happened to Lil Pop, Quando Rondo's homie, that the Armenians actually was responsible because he ran away with some pounds of weed. Now that was the story that everybody in LA, including WAC, everybody else had thought until when Brick Baby was on doing an interview with Flacco and he said people should stop saying Lil Durk should slide for Vaughn because he did and when Flacco had asked him what did he mean by that Brick Baby had replied Lil Pop and that's when everybody started to put the pieces together so Wack is really trying to flame Brick Baby and saying that that's the case now, you know, of course, he's talking to Flacco, and Flacco has to explain himself, which he does, to whack as to what he meant by that. Also, the video that he had put out about Brick Baby's alleged involvement in the situation, and, you know, Wack 100 confronts him about it, pretty much flaming Brick Baby and Flacco for backtracking now that Lil Dark is indicted. But let me know what y'all think, man. It gets real heated. He better show us some court dates on that federal case he's been having for the last 15 months. <laughs> yo, yo, Flacco, you were in that Flacco conversation. Know? You were in that conversation with Brick Baby, right? Where Brick, Brick Baby says... Don't blame it on Flacco. No, Flacco, no, no. he didn't know what was going on. Asking him, is that the first time you heard that... that, that, that you because you you questioned you said what do you mean you you can't say slide for Vaughn anymore? We all thought it was a pull that it was a bad weed deal, right? We so, all right, thought that, bro. It was a bad weed deal. with story to like the media because I was told, man, Dirk and them ain't you feel me right, man? But Dirk and them like was innocent, bro. Like that motherfucker ran off with some weed, and the Armenians got him. You feel me? Like, That's what we were always told, like. right? It, it looks like Dirk and them lie. Bro, Dirk's not trying to get me. Wait, wait, Dirk's trying what? Nigga, you ain't here, bro. What? I'm an interview, bro. And it's on camera, too. You feel me? Right? Again, no jumper got the foot. Dirk Goons, I don't want to say their names, you feel me? But I know who they are. Dirk Goons and them, bro, came up to, like, the, uh, the jumper store deep looking for me. You feel me? Trying to kill me. No, nah, they weren't trying to kill you. Come on now. Stop. Nigga, bro, okay, I, 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 I thought Hold Brick on, Baby was... Let him answer the question, guy. Who told you that? No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, the footage it is on camera. Uh, of, uh, they're coming to the store looking for me. Let me ask you a question. Who's the okay. first nigga you heard identify OTF as OTF as being part of that body? I'm going to be real. Like, I can't remember, man. We oh, got it, man. Boy. Nah, yo, 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 Flacco. I'd say you were the voice in the streets, but you can't be backpedaling. Nah, nah, hold on, Flacco. When I, no, Flacco, you got to you gotta be a straight shooter. No, you do remember. Hold on. Yo, right or wrong? Hey, my niggas going to stop the quickest with this shit. So you know what I'm saying? The, the, the clown face is with it. Play it for him right now so he don't remember to play it. Bro. All right, so this is the audio right here. They said that. Play it for him, act. I am, I got you. Brick. You got me swinging in the air and shit. Yeah, all right. Does this audio sound familiar? Oh, uh, yeah. Slot of Vaughn, right? Yeah. Hey, say, you can't say that no more. Why? Oh, yeah, because of... Wait, no, wait, no, no, like, who died? You can't say that no more. Oh, because of FVG Cash? Oh. Nah, because Lil' Pop. Oh. What's that? But I'm just saying, they just say you can't say that no more. That's the new term, uh, like, no more Sly for Vine. Because of Lil' Pop. Now, after that incident, though. Oh, uh, yeah, Sly for Vine, right? Nobody. Yeah. Rocko, hey, say, you remember that? Flacco, yo, listen. I learned my interview Who tactics from. He act like he don't know nothing. You heard? So you feel me? So you know somebody can you know can say more, right? So right. But though, I, I do have a video that's that's like yo, and that's yo, like, Flacco, like Flacco, on my channel. Amazing. That's amazing. About, Hello, Flacco, huh? Flacco. Amazing tactic. I'm yo. You learn it from the best. Keep going. No, that's good. That's yo, Flacco. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, hey, what? Don't press Flacco. Nah. <laughs> 
Yo, yo, I do have a video on my channel though talking about Lil Dirt being being like linked to like Quan Rondo before that interview with Brick. So like, I was somewhat in the know, but then when I got to LA, like multiple LA niggas, you know, the Crip was telling right, me on, that, that, that like it was like the Armenians. So Wait, the you know, Crips was, told you it was the Armenians? Yeah. No, oh, so, oh, so they were throwing off the scent. Wait, hold on. Flacco, keep the cripping out your mouth in the palm road in the blood. Stop that, Flacco. No, no, facts, 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 facts. You facts, talking facts, about like, this? I'm a web code. He's throwing up the signs, the NH, right? Cool. Quando Rondo comes to LA. Of course, you check in. You tap in with your peoples, right? Cool. After tapping in and checking in, magically, Low Dirk and them got the drop. Quando Rondo leaves LA. Goes back to goes goes back to Savannah and automatically drops his flag and says, "I'm not neighborhood no more." So who get the drop? Flacco, you're going around the conversation. No, yo, he just gave it. I'm saying I don't know who gave the drop, but Juan Rondo. Hold on, with the. Hold on, hey, 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 listen, listen, Flacco, Flacco. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this to Wack. You know what makes all three of us great? It's because. We know how to use our brain. We will analyze the situation, and there's a lot of people in this media game, the reason why they don't go nowhere is because they don't say, you know what, I don't know if I'm right, but this is what I think. We put out what we think, and we put out what we believe. When I listen to Wack, Wack will tell you if it's 100% true, or if he'll tell you based on what he knows, this is what he thinks. Same thing with you, Flacco. So now I'm asking you, what do you think? We don't know if you know for a fact, but what do sure. you think, sir? I do think, again, I'll say this. I do think, right, that the person who gave the drop to Dirk and them was somebody, you know, that was with Quan Rondo's affiliation. But, but though, I don't think that is Brick Baby, though. Ooh, I do think, though, okay, that, okay. that, again, like, you bring up I, I, I do name. think that it's a trick, but I don't think it's Brick Baby. Why don't you bring up Brick Baby name? Now, let me ask you something, Blanco. What's up? After about a year of me pressing the issue, when I had Brick Baby break down right after that DW Flame, you know, when he did his meltdown and I was told him, you don't recall him admitting that, yeah, he does have a federal gun case? Does he? I thought you made that oh, up. Oh, no, I didn't make that I, I, I up. I think he said that, right? I'm yeah, not sure, I made but... Him admit it. He yo, 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 hold on. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. Flacco is so good. Flacco's like, I think he's... Yo, Flacco, you're like me. No. We pay attention to the internet like hawks. You know damn well he said that, because I know he said that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. I, I, I heard him admit it. Admit it to it. Admit to the shit. He wanted to know how whack. I do. Hey, Wack, I, I follow everything with you, because I listen to Clubhouse every morning. Shout out to the whole... The hundred side of the trenches. Why Wack one hundred is not top ten on the? You know this year they gave me number one in, in complex, and I still cuss them out. If they give me, I don't care what they give me next year. If Wack not top ten, I'm mad. Y'all giving that's all type of niggas that's not doing nothing. Wack controls the entire ecosphere of what y'all do in hip hop. He is the only voice that matters, and if he don't get on that list. I'm going to get at Complex again. How the fuck does he know this shit? So I know if I know it, and I don't work at No Jumper, you know it. Listen, I'm going to say this, though. Now, <laughs> again, okay, I think well, I heard I ab ab about the gun case, thing, but I'm not sure. Hold on, I will say this, Hold on, wait, hold on. All right, ask him who bailed him out. Ask him. What, do you know who bailed him out? Oh, uh, get out of right? All right, so you know we had a... So if you know who bailed him out... You know he had a case. Nah, this is crazy. <laughs> but though, hey, listen. I don't know that it's a federal case, though. That's a little different. You feel me? <laughs> wait, wait. So you <laughs> said you know what the federal flock on. You capped it right huh? now? You capped it right now, flock on? Hey, listen, so look, again, I know that Adam built him out, but I don't know it's a federal case. Like, like I swear. Hey, 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 by the way, hey, by the way, to both of y'all, so Adam was on here earlier, and I said, Adam, if Brick gets caught up in this shit and needs some bail, do you got him? So Adam, being the, you know, the, you know, this is how a white man usually goes. They they start thinking dollars and cents, not you're my homeboy, no matter what it takes. You know, when two niggas locked in, they don't care if the bail is ten thousand or one million, right? 
But for Adam, he thinking about how much he could get out of you, right? So I said, what about if Brick maybe get caught up in this? He said, well, it depends on the bail. I said, what if the bail is, I think I said 100000 He said 100000 is too steep. And I said, damn, I thought Brick Baby was worth at least a little bit more than that. What do you, I, what, and what do you think? Wait, wait, ain't like 100 k like 10000 Okay, that's like 10%, right? Man. You got to realize Crip Mac going to get out sooner than maybe some of these guys. <laughs> nah, are. Act, nah, but you want it, bro. Stop. Serious. I'm <laughs> serious. So wait, wait, what do you think about that? Uh, one, I don't think that Brick would need Adam, like, to pay the bill, right? Like, Brick has, you know, his friends, family, he needed him to pay it last time. Mm -hmm. And let's keep it real. Be back, nephew. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what do you say? I can't, hold on, I gotta, you I can't. The, you just respect, you gotta do that. And then you question me behind a motherfucking DJ. Remo, what I do? You was right, you was right. I can't even... I can't even say shit. I'm like, I ain't want it to be no, true. It was, it I'm like, damn, I'm not dirt, man. Come on. The fuck? And he doing hey. life too. <laughs> it's not and hard. Ever since then, I was like, I got to get my get back. And ever since then, I was like, I got to get this nigga Big Baby back for that shit. Ain't no niggas going to come out of town niggas. But he will be extradited. Or actually, there's going to be an extradition here. And I, I, I guarantee his lawyers will... We'll waive that and get him to California immediately that they could get him in front of that district judge. Here's the thing, right? What was posted on his Instagram was an Instagram story pretty much announcing his album date. It says album mode loading 11-22. Now, we know how everybody's giving it up with lyrics, this and third. Dirk has some songs where he's specifically talking about spanking niggas out or getting stuff done to them. You're a manager, whack. If your artist is charged with murder for hire and say he had an upcoming album about to come out, do you let the album come out? Keep in mind, it would be priceless promotion for it to come out, but it's definitely going to be something that's going to be analyzed by the feds. What's the gut call of the manager, or do you leave it up to his counsel and him, even though he's incarcerated? What's your first thought? Let's well, hear. first and foremost, probably tied into a contractual obligation. And we probably just spent millions of dollars with advancement and creating the album. Uh, I would probably, the equal medium would be go through the music and try to eliminate anything that might be incriminating <laughs> to deliver the product and get his back end money and get his album out to his fans. Mm, okay. By the way, what you, what you just said described exactly what happened with 6 9 This is why 6 9 dropped an independent album. When he caught a racketeer in charge, Universal said, we don't want to touch it. We're not distributing that through us because if the feds ever come in, they're going to come at us. He then, he did strip down the album, but that, it was released, I believe, through Create as an indie album through 10K because Universal wouldn't touch it. And again, some of the lyrics had to be changed. Some of the stuff had to, because again, you don't want that stuff being in court when, you know, who knows this might be the last album for however long or you don't want the music to be used against you no that's the fact that's why i said i would go through it and change the lyrics you know what i'm saying Give, if anything that was incriminated eliminated but i would pop off once and they cool down a little bit the label gives up on them stop funding them and, and abandon them and people think that wave is over for that artist to come back you can't tell me that's not talent and whack knows that's a fact no whack, uh, uh, it's not he stole Von style man no, hell no that's hard and it's very rarely done hey whack hey whack I got big chunk on here from death of the cloud chaser will you let them know a year ago i exposed when we exposed Brick Baby caught that dead gun case in June That's 21st, a fact, bro. And now it got me thinking, like, why he still ain't been to court, bro? What he I ain't been to court at, yet. Is one of my top researchers at right here. He ain't been to court yet. And then, like, Flacco, I know you won't lie right now, but with this whole Brick Baby situation, bro, you know Brick Baby ain't went to court. You know Adam said that that nigga got, <laughs> he bought him out for that fan case, bro. Mm. Why that nigga, like, why he heard that Lil Dirk was in jail and Lil Dirk was, like, he heard that LOTF was going to jail and all this shit, and he his his face just looked like he, he was shit. 
And I, 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 I asked Remo to try to get Brick on here. You know what I mean? Me and him, we're we not at odds anymore. But I would love to talk. Like, maybe he was just like, damn, that's my man. Because I ain't going to lie. When I seen, when I really got confirmation that Dirt got locked up, like, I was hurt. Like, because, like, it was somebody who, like, I really like and I'm rooting for. Now, I know at the time. Yeah, me too. I know he didn't know that Dirt got locked up. He just heard about the Fed indictment. And he looked a little spooked. But, but but maybe he knew the other guys. Maybe he knew, you know, Aditi and everybody else who got hey, locked up. Let me ask you a question, though. Yeah. Like, Brick Baby not being, you know what I mean? You not being a street dude, right? Uh-huh. And then Brick Baby, he's saying what he was saying on social media. Like, yeah, niggas got their get back. They did this, the little pap and all that. You bro, don't say that guy's fine, though, bro. bro. Don't you think that's federal academics? Right or wrong, bro? No, 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 I agree with you. No, I agree with you 100%. But, but uh, Adam was on here earlier, and he said something to me really important. He said that the reason why he wanted to... Act, again, this is on tape tonight. He says the reason why he knew he had to hire Brick Baby is after a conversation like this, he's like, this guy, he's just speaking. Like, he's just kind of giving it up. So here's the thing. Oh, no, nigga. Adam knew that this nigga will crash out in hell. Hey, academics, that is for good content, right? <laughs> if you got a co-host who will tell and they really in the streets, that's for good content, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you Adam think, don't get no fuck. Adam's slick. I think Adam realized, like, Adam always is looking for the guy. Like, I knew DW Flame wouldn't work up there. Because D.W. Flame looked like he Yo, trying to... Hold on, watch your mouth. No, no, watch not, your not mouth nephew. No, no, but D.W. Flame looked like he separates the streets and the internet. When you're at, when you're at No Jumper, unless you're a WAC 100 who's fluid with both of them, like, WAC could, like, WAC could be joking about him with, with some porn stuff and then talk a little bit stuff, but he, he, WAC doesn't ever say something on there that's incriminating. I think DW doesn't have that skill like you have, Wax. So, like, for him, it's a hard no. He, like, I would see him up there, like. DW ain't saying nothing incriminating. No, 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 no. no. I, I never say he did. I said. Yeah. No, no, I never said that. I said. Brick baby. No, no. Brick baby. I, hold on, hold on. He does that shit. No, no, no. Hey, you saying it's a potential. No, no, no. When I would watch um, DW up there, he would be just mad uncomfortable when the conversation went certain way. I don't think Adam wants that. Adam needs somebody who could. Give it up. Like, and what I mean, give it up. You might have he to stick to Yes, man. Like Sharp said, he need Lush. He need Brick Baby. Yes, man. Correct? Well, it's not even yes, man. I think he wants somebody who's going to talk street business on air. Like, fuck the snitching part of it. But when I think Brick probably realizes, yo, he want me to tell everybody online who did the shooting and who got shot and who niggas can't, can't say slide for Vaughn. For, yeah, I think he want that. So that probably has now we looking at him like, bro, are you the reason? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Wait, hell no, nah, right? Like, the wait, wait, though, bro. wait the, when wait. I first heard about Brick Baby, it was before No Jumper, bro. I was covering a little dirt. So, you know, of course, you covering somebody, you going to see what somebody's saying about him. That dude, Brick Baby, was saying a whole lot of things on Camp Capone and the rest of these platforms. And I was thinking, like, maybe he lying. Why is he saying this? I know Lil Dirk and them gonna check him. Maybe that ain't true. That's what I found out. I'm like, maybe it ain't true. But then when I heard <laughs> Deep Low say that, yo, he was like, he wanted them. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. How could that even be possible? Why would y'all even co-sign something like that? But they did. And now we here. Man. Hey, to be fair, though, maybe was the catalyst for Dirk and them being indicted, right? Because, well, again, I think they said, like, OTF Jam was one of the reasons. Again, I'm not sure, right? But I don't feel like the fans, I looked at, like, a no jumper and, and you know, and said, okay, yeah, we got Dirk and them now. Oh, no. Wait, right? hold on, hold on, hold on. And, I, and, and, and I'm agreeing with you slightly yeah. on that, right? But until we find out who co-conspirator 4 is, that's a local dude who gave the drop up that would be in on the plan and or not plan but knew about what happened and if Wack is right saying hey everybody he was under the February. assumption everybody was under the assumption some Armenians did it and this guy pops up oh, on we did. yeah and a, and this guy pops up and said 
Hey, yo, just to let y'all know, y'all can't say Slav Ivan no more, and he gets people information. <sighs> Man. Hey, Wack. That's something like wack, something that a gay crip would say. Y'all got some shit AKA going on right baby. now. Y'all right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like listen, bro. Wale, like, man, I'm telling you, bro, Brick got the killers everywhere, bro. Be careful, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, um, um, wait, what was said? Wack, what did you say? Oh, I'm, I'm saying, saying, like, like academic, man, you baby, a 6 old from some crip hood in Los Angeles, go online and say, like, this man did this or this man did that. That was get back. Don't nobody do that in the streets, bro. They leave it in the streets. That's fairy tales. Why would Brick Baby come online and say things like that? And even then, Flacco, he online, right? Flacco made a whole video about this whole scenario. Right? Hold up now. Wait, Flacco, you did a video about this? Yes. I made a video about the fan. Again, not my theory. The fan said Brick Baby was involved. So I made a video like saying, like, uh, the fan said this. And here's why yeah. I don't believe what the fans are saying. Yeah, yeah, so, it wasn't my theory. Double I covered it. Wait, wait. Did Rick Davey check you check about double that? Down. Yes. He, he did? Yeah. And that's why like, we had a little riff for a little minute, but then we back. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean he checked you about? Like, like I mean, explain. Uh, be, behind the scenes, you know. Uh, listen, here, listen. Because I felt like the fans, the like, crew, oh, okay. okay. So, me off, Marco. Flacco, just spit it out, bro. All right. Hold on. Where Where is yet to go to court. We got Big Chuck on here. We got Prince on here from the other side. And we got my man Ghost on here. Listen, we got the hitters on here. Flacco, tread lightly. All right. Well, hold on. Look. Wait, wait. Y'all break it down, and let's see if Flacco disputes anything y'all say. Okay. okay. Go with that. Bring back the other round first. Go to Prince. Y'all know how to do it. Let's start back when we all, when the murder happened, we all thought it was over weed and some Armenians and some niggas killed this nigga. Quando said, a nigga, bro, like, like, Rick Baby basically jumped in, in, in this on his own, bro. Look at what he's saying online. Look at what he's saying immediately after this, bro. He's falling straight into that line of all the, all the narratives of Rick Baby took a bag to drop Quando Lando, Lando location, bro. Flacco know this, bro, because Flacco, like Chuck said, Flacco did a whole video on this, bro. Flacco holding back right now, bro. He not, he not, he not really being himself, and I think a lot of that has. Wait, wait, hold on. Flacco did a video on Brick Baby possibly dropping a location. No way. Hell no, nah, I do that. Like, hey, hell no. Nah. Hey, Flacco did a video about the fan theory, not about the. Flacco did a video you know. implicating Brick Baby as being part of Quando Rondo's homie Lil Pan's murder, bro. Right, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on one second. Yo, wait, so uh, since we have you on here, Flacco, explain the video. What was your theory? How Brick Baby sure. could be involved? Let's hear it. Bet. So Quando Rondo dropped a song, and he name dropped Brick Baby. A couple times in that song, alluding to the to the LA thing, right? To the low pop incident. So what I said was, yo, Quan Rondo is dry snitching. So so I made a video where I said, yo, the fans think that Brick Baby is involved because of this, 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 and this. You know, because of the song that Brick Baby dropped, where he was sort of alluding to it, but like he was just trolling because again, you know. The fan got a theory out. He, he's, you know, trying to capitalize off the fan theory. So he dropped a video, you know, kind of like alluding to it as well. So then I covered a song, the fan theory. Um, fans like posted like a photo of Dirk and Brick together and, and, and on Reddit and claiming that Brick's the one who got the bag instead of Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Flago. What's up? Uh, and I got to ask. I made you. a video saying, yo, that's not true. Brick was no, 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 no. because I want you to blink twice if you're in trouble. You're up? not saying trouble, old, I got the fucking... how do you know that if, if if you're not really because you're, you're saying you're only going by what the fans are saying. So are you tapped in or are you not tapped in? Because when I used to do the war in Chirac, I used to be going off what fans said. It's not like I knew really what was going on. Do you really know what's going on or you're going by what the fans said? Because it feels like you're saying he's checking you. You kind of know some, but you're also going you by what the fans said. Hold on, uh, no, uh, he's just hold on. Uh, I said the fans was lying and Prince no, was no, telling no. the truth, on, and then I gave Prince the story, I, I, and that's what's been the fuck. Hey, Prince. Prince. Turn the video, eh? We got content. 
There you go. Don't fuck with us. Murder of Quando Ronald's best friend, Lil Pop. New details tonight in a deadly shooting near the Beverly. Let me just get past this. To the murder is still unsolved. There's no suspect the police has released for this murder. However, the fan. Yo, Flacco, how do you fix the stutter for your own videos? You be stuttering like. Theory is. Lord Dirk solicited the help of a reputable LA gang member, Brick Baby. To what? Yo, come on, Flacco, Flacco. See what I'm saying? Wait, Flacco. Yo, hey, 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 I'm in LA. What are you saying? Wasn't in LA at the time of Lil Pop's death. So the fan theory is Lord Dirk solicited the help of a reputable LA gang member, Brick Baby, to take out Lil Pop and Quando Rondo. Fans will claim that Lord Dirk will pay Brick Baby, who can be seen here. Photograph for Lil Durk in LA a month before Lil Pop's murder. Fans will claim that Lil Durk would pay Brick Baby a hundred thousand dollars for the hit. Brick Baby is a rolling sixty neighborhood crib and Quando Rondo is too. So the theory itself appeared to be far fetched. That's until Quando Rondo took to his Instagram to denounce the neighborhood card and drop his flag. Quando Rondo will state that he's dropping his flag because there's no loyalty in this. And the neighborhoods didn't have his back how he thought they would have his back. But the rumors that Lil Durk paid Brick Baby $100,000 for the hit on Lil Pop and Quando Rondo really grew some legs and even wings when Brick Baby dropped his single, Not Enough. Brick Baby would respond back to the fan theory of him receiving $100,000 for the hit on Lil Pop and Quando Rondo. See, Brick would respond back with some really questionable lyrics. All right, y'all, man. So let me know what y'all think, man. I feel like Whack 100 really has a point because the whole world didn't really know what happened, especially, you know, people in L.A. They felt like it was the Armenians. That was the narrative that they was running with until Brick Baby had confirmed that it was Lil Pub. That actually, um, when he was... Um, when he had his situation, when he was murdered, that the Armenians had did what they did because he ran away with some pounds of weed, him or Quando. But then, you know, when Brick Baby said, nah, Lil Pop is gone because Vaughn allegedly, I mean, Lil Dark allegedly slid for Vaughn. That's when, you know, Wack was trying to say, why would Brick Baby even say that? So now, as y'all know, Brick Baby is denying everything. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section about Brick Baby's alleged involvement. Even if he ain't involved, do y'all think he really spoke too much about the situation after the situation had happened? Because Brick Baby was really talking too much. You know, a lot of things was being said, including how Adam22 told DJ Academics the reason why I like Brick Baby and the reason why I have him on a podcast is because he talks too much. And Wack is saying that's the only reason why he's there because he's a crash out individual, somebody who would crash out, snitch, do whatever, reckless, you know, and that's the reason why Adam is having Brick Baby on his podcast all the time and doesn't seem to want to get rid of him. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section what y'all opinion is. Peace, y'all.